The GAA clubs right around the city, rooted in their communities, have really got stuck into uh, helping out uh, their, the vulnerable members of our, our, their communities and they've done absolutely phenomenal, great work, right from John Costello, the, uh, the, 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 county, uh, the county board, right down to the, the clubs, have made a phenomenal contribution. John was involved in our community call, Dublin City uh, community call for him. We we met with him every every Thursday, and uh, he he was he, he knew what was going on with going on with all the other statutory agencies, and uh, he liaised with us, and uh, he he directed the the show from here, and the the contribution by the clubs has been absolutely phenomenal, and um, I'm just here today to to recognise that and acknowledge the contribution which has been phenomenal, and to give uh, thanks uh, on behalf of Dublin City Council, and and behalf of and on behalf of the citizens of Dublin to the GAA clubs for the phenomenal effort they put in over the past three or four months. We've just uh, welcomed the Lord Mayor, Tom Brabison here. The City Council uh, were aware of the tremendous effort made by the clubs during the pandemic and they uh, saw fit to present the clubs from within the city with uh, this plaque and, and uh, scroll to commemorate the fantastic work they've done. They've also presented the County Board with uh, a plaque similar to this for the outstanding work. Community spirit is, is the lifeblood of the association and uh, it was never more evident than from early March when we were called upon to assist and the effort put in by everybody was just phenomenal, um, calling the people's doors with messages and just with messages of goodwill and, and uh, the people that received those people were, were glad to see a, a, a face and a different voice and know that there was somebody out there that cared for them. Unbelievable effort by everybody concerned and well done to them all.